The storm may have passed, but the floodwaters remain. More rain fell in one day than has ever been recorded in Britain. The rivers rose higher than anyone has ever seen. In Cumbria, the damage is done. In a region that's famous for its lakes and rivers, water is now the enemy. A major house-by-house -house rescue operation has already taken place, with the army called in to help the most vulnerable. I didn't think I'd going to be bothered with it, really. It's only started. I looked out this morning, there was no flooding at all. Then I was sitting in the house, I saw the water coming up under the tiles, you know. It's quite frightening. Up the staircase. Yeah. Uh, and this morning, because some of the gas rising up, so I rang the emergency services up and he got me out straight away. Water isolating families and driving them from their homes, menacing the livelihoods of those who work the land, threatening to ruin whatever the people of Cumbria have made. But it was the city of Carlisle which was hardest hit, its landmarks left unrecognisable. Roads and railway lines submerged under feet of water. The streets where people were trapped, passable only by boat. Outside houses where the water was deep enough to submerge a car, emergency crews paddled door to door offering help. Residents without heat and power for a night and a day left their possessions behind, all of them only too thankful to be brought out unharmed. <laughs> 